Hi everyone, Hamish here from the Uplay team at Massive Entertainment. Now, you've probably heard a bunch of PC gamers out there talking about things like 60 FPS, 144 FPS, but outside of your core PC specifications, your screen, naturally, plays a vital role in what you end up seeing. So today we're going to talk about monitors and some of the technical specifications that come along with them, like refresh rate and response time. We'll also talk about VSync and how you can use variable refresh rate technology like FreeSync and G-Sync to get the most out of your gaming experience. So when you're looking to buy a new monitor, there are definitely some things you should take into consideration that will significantly impact how you experience your games. Specifically, we're going to talk about two things, refresh rate and response time. The refresh rate tells you how often a monitor will change the image that it displays on the screen. This frequency is measured in Hertz, which basically means how many times that something can happen per second. This means that a 60 Hertz monitor will be able to change the image that it displays 60 times per second. That feeling of natural motion really depends on how many images per second are being shown, and that's why screens with a higher frequency feel like they're smoother. So let's say you've gone out there and bought a sweet new 144Hz screen and it's sitting on your desk, but there may be one super important thing that you may have missed out. Most screens, when you set them up, will default to 60Hz, which is really a bit of a waste because your screen supports more than double that. To make sure you're running the refresh rate your screen actually supports, you'll want to head into the advanced display settings. Here you'll see detailed information about your screen and you can also change your screen refresh rate. Keep in mind that your settings will not allow you to pick a higher refresh rate than your screen can support. It also doesn't matter how good your PC is or how many frames it's putting out. Your screen will still only be able to display the number of frames per second that it was built for. So if your computer gives you 200 images per second but you have a 60Hz monitor, you'll still only get 60 images per second. Now if your FPS is actually lower than the Hertz frequency on your monitor, it will display the current FPS that you have. I mean it makes sense that your screen can only display the amount of images that your PC is actually delivering. The potential result of having low FPS or Hertz is that your screen can look like it's lagging, stuttering, and you may miss details as your screen is actually skipping images. Now when your PC is actually producing more FPS than your monitor's Hertz rating, you might end up with something called screen tearing. This is happening due to your monitor trying to keep up with your graphics card, and when it can't, it'll start showing several images at once. It'll look like there are weird lines in your game where it splits across the screen. Monitors update their image vertically, which means you'll experience horizontal tears. Many games will offer the option to activate something called Vertical Sync, or V-Sync. What this does is it automatically syncs your images produced by your PC with the images that are being displayed by your screen to smooth out the visuals. It'll make your PC and your monitor work together to create a stable picture. There are also variable refresh rate technologies like AMD's FreeSync or Nvidia's G-Sync that'll both work in the same way, and these will result in a very smooth and tear-free experience. But pay attention because both G-Sync and FreeSync are limited to the graphics card your PC actually use. Nvidia cards will only work with compatible G-Sync monitors and AMD cards will only work with FreeSync. However, Nvidia recently made it possible to use some FreeSync screens together with Nvidia graphics cards. Those G-Sync and FreeSync technologies are actually implemented directly into the monitor itself. They might already be installed on your screen when you buy it, but you can also add it later. But remember that you sometimes need to enable the settings before they'll be activated. You'll also want to check that the graphics card's outputs, as well as the cables that you are using to send that signal to your screen, actually support the refresh rate that you are aiming for. Okay, so moving on to response time. What does it mean, and how does it affect your visual experience? The response time is basically how quickly your screen can change the color of an individual pixel. A lower number will increase the quality that you see, and it makes your monitor change those pixels faster. This response time is measured in MS, which is short for milliseconds. 1 MS will mean that your monitor can change the color of those pixels in 1 1,000th one of a second, or a millisecond. A monitor with a higher response time could make your screen look blurry, while a lower response time gives a sharp and precise image. All right, hopefully you learned something from today's video, and I'm really hoping that if you are in the market for a new screen, that you can use this newfound knowledge to better inform those purchases. But before you hand over a bunch of cash, there are a few questions you need to ask yourself. What's the maximum hertz that I'm looking for in my new screen? Is 60 gonna be enough or do I want more? Remember, if your PC can handle it, in this case, more is better. What's the maximum response time I'm after as well? In this case, you're looking for lower, also, you'll want to check that your graphics card is outputting the right signal over that cable into your screen. So make sure that you're using the right output and the right cable for your fancy new screen. Also, do you need G-Sync or FreeSync? Is it worth the cash? 
anyway. That's going to be all for today. Make sure you tune in next time and leave a comment below if you have any more questions about things that we can cover in upcoming PC for Beginners videos. All right, see you soon. Bye.